What's going on, guys? This is the JJRC H26D um, that I picked up off of Amazon, and it's a bigger drone. It stands a lot taller than some of the drones in its class with that landing gear. Uh, it's a little bit wider, especially with the, the propeller guards on it, and uh, has a pretty sick camera on board stock with this one. And we'll give you a look at the camera here. It's pretty nice. Um, it is super, super bright today, and as you can see, there's a slight glare. There's probably like a smudge mark on the lens, but as we fly away from it, when we fly up towards uh, the other side here, and there's me down there, you can see the Cadillacs, you can see the Impala really clear. Um, as we fly towards the opposite side, you'll see that glare goes away as the sun's not shining directly into it. I like this drone, one, for the fl flyability, and two, because of the stock camera that's on it. Um, the stock camera is a wide-angle lens camera, uh, very, very light fisheye, if any, on it. And uh, look at the clarity. We're, we have we had the sun facing our back, and now we're bringing it down. But we had the sun facing our back in that last image there. You had no, uh, you had no type of glare, no streaks from the sun in it. So definitely position yourself to fly with the sun on your back. It's the same thing with a camera. If you take a picture of somebody with the sun behind them or like right shining on their face, you're probably going to get a lot of glare or uh, very, very poor highlights that you have to readjust resolution and whatnot. So be aware of that. But as far as flyability on this, this is uh, through the roof. It is, uh, it's slightly windy out. It's not crazy. Um, there's a little bit of a breeze, but uh, all in all, it's a nice day. Um, the gear that feeds the propeller is brass. It's not plastic. A lot of the time on these toy grades, you see all plastic gears. You see a brass gear underneath there is refreshing. That uh, lets you know that the manufacturer did uh, do a little bit of thinking prior to assembling this and said, hey, brass is going to last a little bit longer, so uh, that's what we're going to use. And, uh, and again, the profile on this isn't really like anything else in its class. Uh, it's 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 a larger drone. It's a thicker drone, and the camera that's on it is adjustable too. You can adjust that up and down during flight on your controller if you'd like to. Um, I'm choosing not to. I'm choosing to keep a position because it is a brushed uh, servo-based uh, gimbal where you can move it up and down. And if you do that during flight, you're going to get jumps until you get to the right position. So I like the fixed point camera on this. Have it faced uh, basically as you can see it. And you get decent video. Obviously, bam, look at that pitch rate. Pitch rate's ridiculous on this. Um, obviously, you're going to get the pitch rate in your video because it's not on a accessing gimbal. It's on a stiff gimbal unless Unless you choose to move it up or down. Um, this was not, bam, you can see, sitting it down nicely and slowly, it'll sit. Um, and I'm just checking my camera. Inside there is a LED. If it's green, you're not recording. If it's red, you are recording. It was red prior to takeoff. Um, right now I have it green. I'm not recording anymore. I like to keep a uh, visual status of the cameras. There's a little bit of a range test. Not really going to push push the limits because I'm in a residential area. If it wants to take it out in the woods, uh, I definitely will push those limits. I've had it once out in the woods and it seems to get very good range. Um, all in all, I'm liking it. 100% uh, liking it. That's the only issue I have with it, <laughs> um, is bringing it down too quickly to sit on its legs because it stands up higher. It's a little bit top heavy, so unless you bring it down uh, really, really, really slowly and you set it down on level ground, there's a good po ground, there's a good possibility that you're going to flip it, which is really no huge issue because it's not altitude hold. So all you have to do is once you, once the landing skids hit, kill your throttle. And if it flips over, you're not going to damage anything. Um, a lot of the altitude quadcopters that flip once they land, or blades are continuing spinning, and then you're cutting grass or cutting gravel or whatever you land on. Not the case with this because it's not altitude old. Uh, really nice drone. I like the profile of it. Uh, all in all, super flyer here. And look at that camera. You don't see too many cameras like that uh, on toy grade. Generally, you have pinhole cameras on toy grade, and that's uh, what you kind of have to deal with. But this one actually has a decent camera on here. And bam, as you can see, I kind of bounced it again here. Um, nothing's damaged, though. That's uh, They have that high landing gear to compensate for the camera, and uh, if you were to land it properly, unlike what I'm doing when I'm trying to just bring it down really heavy, it wouldn't do that. Bam! All right, guys, hope I helped.